Hello Libra, we're going to be looking at what can you expect in love. We're going to be looking at what's going on in your connection. Uh, how do you feel about each other, you and the person that you are thinking about or connecting with or will be connecting with. And where is it all headed next? As always, these readings are meant to be general. So they will not and cannot resonate with every Libra watching. So take what resonates for you, what applies to you. And let's jump right in. Spirit Angels Guides. What can Libra expect in love? What can Libra expect in love? Okay, let's see. Knight of Pentacles, Page of Swords, and the Five of Swords. This Five of Swords keeps coming up. So this is what you can expect regarding the energies between you, between this other person, basically what's going on for you in love. Okay, so let's see. How do you feel about this person? The Fool, Four of Pentacles, and how are they thinking, feeling about you? The Higher Font, the Five of Cups. Okay, Taurus energy with the Higher Font. Okay, and where is all of this headed in the near future? Queen of Cups, King of Wands justice sleeper energy there you are okay so I, I see this i see something happening with this king of wands we'll see what that's about um overall energy is the six of pentacles balance give and take equal give and take between you between this person let's get some more energies out of here tell me more about the energies for libra regarding love it's interesting because I feel like this person is like having regrets, looking at the past with regrets, maybe missing you or thinking about the past. And then I see you kind of doing the same thing, but on a different level. I feel like you're ready for a new beginning, a new cycle to start. Sorry, tell me more about the energies for Libra in love. Patiently waiting, okay. Now you have the Page of Swords, Knight of Pentacles, so something's coming in, and I feel it's after some sort of conflict or difficult situation. Tell me more. Walking away. Ooh, maybe you're waiting for someone. Are you waiting for someone to come back in, or are you waiting for someone after you've left a situation? Maybe this is someone that walked away from you in the past. We'll have to clarify and see what these energies might mean here. Let me get a kipper. Let me get some more insight, please, on what's going on for Libra. You might be dealing here with a Taurus, a, another Libra, a fire sign, or a water sign. We'll see courthouse okay so some sort of official decision um i feel like someone has to do, make an official decision here negotiate contracts or legal situations or things that in official capacity like something that happens in a building like signing something important or um or someone's thinking about a, a problem in a very like official way it's like whoever is we'll have to see what this five source is about but i feel like someone's wanting to address the issue here between you in an official way that's we'll see what else we get and we'll clarify but that's the main energy i'm picking up there so can you get some clarity please for libra someone's car is like going off in the background hopefully you can't hear that too loudly but Knight of Pentacles, this is some this is an offer, an opportunity that comes to you after some time. And Page of Swords is communication news. Okay, tell me about the Knight of Pentacles. Why is the Knight of Pentacles here? Ten of Cups. Okay, so this is good. 
And the Knight of Cups. Wow. Yeah. I feel like someone's coming your way with some sort of an offer here. An offer that will make you very happy. Tell me about the Page of Swords. What's going on here? Page of Swords. The Fool. Yeah. I feel like there's some sort of, um, yeah, it's like a, um, there's some sort of a conflict or drama or like issue between people that I think it's like there's a new start there or perhaps someone just wants to talk it out to move past it. Tell me about the five of swords. I also am getting that for some of you, you left a connection and someone wants to talk about that, but you're not interested in looking back. But that, I don't feel that very strongly for a lot of you. It's like someone saying, I want to be free. I want to start my own thing. I want to do my own thing. And the other person's like, but we can still fix this. Tell me about the Five of Swords. Why is the Five of Swords here? Wow, the tower. Something definitely happened. Some sort of problem, conflict. You could have um, realized something about this particular person that you were dealing with. Maybe there was a deception here. The Emperor Aries energy. Yeah, I feel like you, there's a problem here that I think someone wants to address with the Emperor. Again, very official energy. It's like whoever this is, this is some masculine energy. It could be an Aries, but I feel like whoever this is, they're, they're wanting to address the problem in a very, like, in a way where they can actually do something about it is what I feel. Tell me more about this emperor. Tell me more about this emperor. What do we need to know about this emperor? Yeah, six of pentacles. Let me balance things out. Let me fix this. Okay, well, you can see all of the cards. So let's jump into your energies for each other here. I feel like you have the fool. So I think you're the one that probably is ready for a new start. Tell me about the fool and the four of pentacles. Now, Libra, I have your energy here on the left and your person's on the right, but feel free to flip the energies if they resonate more for you. Tell me about the Fool and the Four of Pentacles. Judgment, Two of Cups, and the Ace of Cups. I think you care about someone. Maybe you want a new start with someone, a second chance. Maybe you're having a realization about a partnership that you were in or are in. Why is judgment here? Why is judgment here? Four of Pentacles. Holding on, holding back. Typically the Four of Pentacles is about holding on to something that you value. This could be interpreted in a couple of ways. There's the Ace of Swords at the bottom of the deck. It could be interpreted like perhaps you realized the truth about yourself about the way that you handled a, a situation with someone. Maybe you've been holding on to something that you know you have to let go of so you can be free to start fresh with the fool. Maybe you're holding on to a certain person that you want to have a reunion with or reconnect with. There's a, many ways to interpret this. Tell me about the Two of Cups. And the Ace of Cups. Why is the Two of Cups here with the Ace of Cups? The Devil Capricorn energy. Interesting. There's the Empress. I feel like there's something that you've been holding on to or has been holding on to you. Emotionally, perhaps, because I have the Ace of Cups, Two of Cups here. It could be an attachment that you had with someone or have with someone. I feel like you're recognizing something about yourself. Okay. 
Can I get some insight into Libra's energy? What do we need to know about Libra's energy? What do we need to know, Spirit, about Libra's energy? Okay, so yeah, I feel like you're looking ahead. The buffalo looks ahead at the path forward. They're not scared of how difficult it's going to be or how long it'll take. They're steady. They're focused on the journey forward. I feel like you're looking ahead, but I can't decide. I feel like I'm reading for two very different Libras. Some of you are looking ahead with the hope that it's with a per certain person you already have in mind. And others are looking ahead, hoping that there's a better person there. Tell me about Libra's person. The person Libra is thinking about dealing with or will be dealing with. What do we need to know about this other person's energy spirit? The camel. This is a survivor. Someone that uses resources to their advantage is trying to be resourceful. They're going through difficulties, but they're not giving up. The camel is, you know, they'll make the best of it or at least... They'll try their best to survive, to keep going. Tell me about the Five of Cups. Why is the Five of Cups here? The Lovers. Oh yeah, this person is definitely thinking about past regrets or past situation with another person. Gemini energy there. Tell me about the Hierophant. Why is the Hierophant here? Ten of Swords. Yeah, I feel like something ended with this particular person. I think this is someone from your past. You could have been in a commitment with this person, married to this person. Maybe commitment was a possibility, but I feel like there was an ending here. This Tower, this Ten of Swords tells me that this was difficult. Can I get um, a clarifier for the Hierophant with the Five of Cups? What do we need to know? The higher find the five of cups the queen of wands i think this person has goals motivation something they want to do with the queen of wands queen of wands is very bold very attractive yeah there's the knight of wands at the bottom of the deck it's like this person wants to take some sort of action tell me about the queen of wands and that's what i thought with this king of wands as well tell me about the queen of wands why is the queen of wands here yeah there's the knight of wands that's way too many, but I'm just going to look at them. Nine of Wands, Seven of Pentacles, and the Three of Wands. Well, this is somebody that's not doing anything. They're just, they're worried about the future, hesitated, waiting, guarded, unsure, uncertain. So this person, I feel like what they want to do is, it's almost like it's conflicting with what they're actually doing or are able to do. Tell me about the Knight of Wands. Tell me about the Knight of Wands. Page of Cups. Maybe they uh, want to apologize, come forward, tell you how they feel. Knight of Cups is there. So I feel like that offer is from this person. Tell me more from this person, um, about this person's energy, Spirit. What are their energies towards Libra? What are their energies? Towards Libra. What do we need to know? What are their energies towards Libra? We need to talk. Yeah, this person wants to talk to you. They have something to say. And there it is. I want a second chance. Very clear energy. They're having regrets over whatever happened here. Between you and them. There, There's regrets. That's for sure. So let's see what's going to happen here in the near future. We have the Queen of Cups, King of Wands, and Justice. Tell me about the Queen of Cups. Why is the Queen of Cups here? King of Swords. Okay, tell me about the King of Wands. Tell me about the King of Wands. Three of Wands again. Tell me about the King of Wands. 
Why is the King of Wands here? Nine of Wands, same energy as when we were clarifying this Knight of Wands. Tell me about Justice. Or Queen of Wands, I guess I should say. Why is Justice here? Queen of Swords, King of Swords on the board. Communication, information is important. Tell me about Justice. Oh, that's a lot. Two of Pentacles, Death, Scorpio Energy, and the Ten of Wands. So Justice here with Death and Ten of Wands, I feel like someone wants to set a burden down. They no longer want to carry this heavy load. There's an ending or change that I feel like someone wants to talk about what happened and make it right. What's this card that was kind of sticking? Yeah, Four of Wands. I want to have stability again. What is going on with that car outside? And it's like, you know, the Ace of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Let's start over. It's this is this is your person's energy. And that's why the courthouse is here and the justice card is here. Your energy. Um, because I feel like they don't just want to talk about things. Whoever this is, two of swords and then the eight of pentacles. Let's work on things. But I think you're the block. Either they view you as someone that's undecided about getting back together, or they know you don't want to get back together. They know that that's an issue. Let me know in the comments, Libra, if you would consider reconciling with this person. I think most of you were, that this reading will be resonating for, you probably walked away from this connection or told this person you were no longer interested in continuing a connection. And they've been waiting for you ever since then. Like they, they feel like they're that patiently waiting card. This three of wands, nine of wands. I feel like the action they want to take, they're stopped by you in some way. Some of you could have blocked this person. Maybe you've told them that you never want to see them again or talk to them again. Um, but it's almost like this person, they, they feel they cannot make a move. Tell me more about this king of wands. Tell me more about this king of wands. What do I need to know? The hermit. Yeah, I feel like this person is kind of like away far from you out in the cold kind of energy distant i also see them like thinking about this guard that you have up i feel like most of them are just you know the most of the, uh, this person like the, the the energy that i'm picking up here is of someone who is like waiting it out waiting for the hard times to pass the more difficult time to pass hoping that time will help heal the situation but eventually they're going to come forward to talk to you that's very clear so that's what i have for you libra i hope you enjoyed this reading if you did hit that like button subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you in another video very soon take care